and randomly checking in after about maybe two months since I started this review. I meant to get back to it sooner, but I didn't. But anyway, I just sat on the figure while setting up and broke the stand. I do blame too many of these bad boys right here. Talk about a somewhat themed drink, it's like a Bloody Mary in a beaker. But I think this might have somehow hexed the review. This beaker is actually from a Resident Evil themed drink, or Biohazard as it is called here in Japan. From the Halloween Horror Nights in Universal Studios Japan back in October. And I think this might have been using its like Resident Evil Juju to kill the Silent Hill, but but either way, I'm gonna have to use another base for this review. I just thought I'd leave that in there because it's pretty funny. But anyway, I digress, and there she is, out of the box, and this thing looks insane. Freeing. They are really knocking out some awesome-looking Figma, and I really can't wait till they get to the God Hand. But this right here is what I'm talking about. Whereas Max Factory's Figmas are nice and clean, freeing. We are knocking out these nice, filthy Figma with plenty of dry brushing. Get in nice and close there, and this thing is as rotten as it should look. Just zooming in really quickly there on the legs, and you can just see the level of detail that's here. The awesome coloring and those veins, this thing just looks like a corpse. Most of the paintwork in here is in a nice matte, but then the parts, like the gloves, covered in blood, are in a nice gloss. One thing that did strike me as a bit odd is using this head as the default head. Personally, I don't really remember this head so much from the game. I actually had to look online for some screenshots. This one right here is the one that comes to mind straight away. And personally, I think this should have been the default one. That's the one from the official art, the one on this t-shirt right here. This is my favorite t-shirt ever. Seriously, I love Silent Hill 2. It's been dying a slow death for a long time, but seriously, I've never been able to find a second one. I hope to find one, but I don't know if there's any around anymore. Again, I'm totally rambling again, maybe less Bloody Marys and more review. But hey, I can't help myself. And now moving on to accessories, and there she is with everything that she comes with. As well as the default face we've seen already, we also have this one right here which I showed you before, which is more like the original artwork. As well as this one here which seems to just have a big condom on its head. As for hands, we have the default pair of bad romance hands, these widespread open hands, these open palmed hands, a pair of fists, as well as a pair of holding hands. And lastly, as for weapons, we've got a blood-soaked knife, as well as that pipe for bashing James Sunderland in the head. So now onto articulation, and this is my sixth review of the day. Seriously, I'm recording a lot today. So if I take the shortcut on this, forgive me. There's the head to the front, there to the back, this side to side, blah blah blah. Arm up, arm down, bend, blah blah blah. Torso to the front, to the back, side to side, pretty good. Legs all the way out, can do the splits, all the way out to the front. There's all the way to the back. The skirt section is made out of flexible rubber so it doesn't get in the way. There is the bend at the knee. Articulation at the ankle all the way down, all the way up. The pivot side to side. And last up there, we've got the bend at the toe there and back and I totally need to cut my nails. I just realized I've got the wrong neck on the wrong head here, but hey, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Anyway, that is it for the review, and what can I say, I cannot recommend this figure enough. I love Figma by Max Factory. They really are the best poseable figures on the market, but freeing takes what Max Factory has already made and brings it to the next level. As far as I've seen, everything they've made so far is awesome, and the choices they've made for the future, including the God Hand, is even more awesome. There is no release dates for the God Hand yet, and I really hope they're gonna come soon because I love Berserk, just like I love Silent Hill. Someone in freeing has those psychic waves resonating with me. Totally, they are doing the right thing. But anyway, what can I say, buy it. Buy 10 of them. God, you can't have enough Silent Hill nurses, totally. You need it three minimum, just so you can use all those heads. But anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you want, subscribe if you want, and make sure to come back for more Figma reviews. See you next time. I almost forgot to mention the hands are the old style ones. Bye bye.